have a lot of dolls. Barbie and friends? For the longest time, I really struggled with how best to organize my collection so that I could really appreciate what I have. In the meantime, they were sort of organized, which is to say they were all downstairs, mostly, in a pile. But now I think it's time to really find a better way to arrange them, to sort them, and to put them on display and let them hang out. So this is me giving that a shot. Let's see how it turns out. Prior to this shot, these Barbies were kind of scattered everywhere. So I'm going to try out these magazine holders to better arrange and store the dolls in categories. This sloppy mess of dolls is the first time my collection has been all together on the same shelf. Along the way, my two dogs and two cats will supervise. <laughs> these are the initial categories I'm using. I'll adjust as I go along. Other is a placeholder until I decide better categories for that stack of dolls. Oops, later I remember that this doll isn't a fashionista, but a Barbie looks model. For doll categories that I don't have many of, I put two categories in a box.
For doll categories that I have too many of, they get two boxes. These aren't the actual Barbies from my childhood. I repurchase them all one at a time. They're the dolls that open the floodgates to my collecting all these. Once I discovered the amazing evolution of fashion dolls since my childhood. I know some of these Barbies aren't technically reproductions, but if they have the early Barbie face mold, I'll put them in this category. This second box later gets changed to characters and themes because some are characters per se, but they might have some kind of theme to them. Later, I also moved that Irish girl to a Dolls of the World category, even though I only have one other Doll of the World. Oops, a couple of these aren't Barbie looks or Barbie basics, but I know I'll automatically reach for this box when I'm looking for those gals.
The Boneyard Barbies are my husband's term of endearment for these particular dolls. Years before we began collecting, he once bought some Barbies at a yard sale for the purpose of lining his bicycle basket with them. He thought it was artsy and funny. Some 10 years later, when I started collecting Barbies, he remembered he had these five dolls in the Boneyard of our garage. Boneyard Barbies have a special place for us because they were already here when we realized how much we wanted Barbie and friends in our lives. Take a deep breath in like you are smelling a beautiful flower. Now breathe out. Breathe in. Then breathe out. I have one or two holiday Barbies mixed in with the other categories, but these particular ladies are gonna stay in their gowns. Because of that, they need a larger container. Rather than messy sticky notes, I printed out the final labels for the boxes. I'm just using removable painter's tape in case I ever want to change out the labels.
Here's the preliminary aftershot. Later, I sorted the boxes a little tighter and added the holiday box to this shelf. See the after pick at the end. Here are two box dolls that I haven't opened yet, and husband brought home these other two Barbies while I was making this video. I love the leopard rainbow hair, she's so pretty. I don't know who the other doll in the polka dots is. Do you know? Please let me know in the comments. And here it is, all done. It sure is nice having all of my Barbie and friends in one neat, organized place. This is over 125 Barbies, 18 Kens, and two Skippers, and I love every single one of them.